little cat feels left out, written and illustrated by Dory Durbin. If you haven't already, please give this video a like and subscribe. Down below will be links for where you can find out more about this book and the author. This book is dedicated to anyone who has ever felt left out. Always be patient, find new ways to welcome friends, and never doubt how important you are. May you use your God-given talents to help encourage others. Dog and little cat are the very best of friends. And one really great friend is all little cat really needs. The dog is going, ha ha ha, Mr. Fuzzy. But could it be that dog feels he needs more than one friend? Little Cat thinks so because one day she notices all the fun that Dog and Mr. Fuzzby are having without her. She hears Dog happily shouting while playing with Mr. Fuzzby. Let's ride! Hi! Slide! Dog and Mr. Fuzzby have become very close. Try a glide! Go wide! Oops! Glide! And that bothers Little Cat. I think that maybe Little Cat is feeling left out. Or jealous? She calls out, hey dog, dog? But dog is still talking to Mr. Fuzzby and he's saying, Mr. Fuzzby, you're my best friend. Little cat thinks maybe dog didn't hear me. She tries again to get dog's attention. Dog, oh hey. But dog still doesn't notice. He is still busy talking to Mr. Fuzzby. Just a munch wolf. All we need now is a quick nap. Mm. Little Cat is feeling left out. Why does Dog think this little blue toy is his best friend? While Dog naps, Little Cat will find out. Little Cat takes a closer look at Mr. Fuzzby. She can see that he has no blinkety blinks, glittery gears, buzzy buttons, and nothing mysteriously magical. So, how can this stuffed toy be Dog's best friend? It's quite true that Mr. Fuzzy is floppy, swooshy, and squashy. But simply being squeezable doesn't make him a best friend. The cat's looking at the toy under a magnifying glass like, hmm, what's so great about him anyways? Perhaps Mr. Fuzzby and Dog love the same hobbies. You can see that Mr. Fuzzby tries hard, but it looks like he isn't much of an artist. Little Cat can't figure out why Dog enjoys hanging out with Mr. Fuzzby all the time. She keeps asking herself, why has Mr. Fuzzby became Dog's favorite friend? Hmm, little cat thinks as she notices Mr. Fuzzby clapping his hands in front of her painting dog. The toy is clapping its hands like, yay, you did a great job painting that dog. She starts thinking, good friend share. Perhaps Mr. Fuzzby enjoys sharing. So little cat starts to collect a few favorite things to share. Little cat stacks scurries and hurries. She says to herself, just gotta get. Suddenly, she slips yelling, ooh. She lands on Mr. Fuzzby, who breaks her fall. Woo, thank you. But now, little cat's favorite things are scattered everywhere, she exclaims. Oh, Mr. Fuzz, now we have so much to clean up. In his own creative way, Mr. Fuzzby helps her pick everything up. And it seems like no work at all. Little cat smiles when she sees their filth tip marker mustaches saying, ha ha, Mr. Fuzzby, you're so funny. All of a sudden, Little Cat hears a noise. Woof, Mr. Fuzz, it's Dog. Little Cat had almost forgotten he was still sleeping. Little Cat hurries to return Mr. Fuzzby. Before Dog is completely awake, Dog partly opens his eyes and sees Mr. Fuzzby still half asleep. He mumbles, he he he, Fuzz, I had the strangest dream. You and Little Cat... Dog wakes up and notices how dirty Mr. Fuzzby is. He shouts, Wait! What happened to you? Dog is upset and Little Cat realizes how she can become a better friend. She says, I'm sorry, Dog. It's my fault. May I help you take care of Mr. Fuzzby? Together, Dog and Little Cat use soap and suds to wash and rinse Mr. Fuzzby. Then they dry him off completely until... Ta-da! Mr. Fuzzby is as good as new. Dog is thrilled. He starts chanting, back together, birds of a feather. Once again, Little Cat feels all alone and left out. But then she hears Dog call out, Little Cat, aren't you coming? With a big smile, Little Cat answers, Oh yes, here I come. Together, Dog, Little Cat, and Mr. Fuzzby romp and play all day long. Happily, they all agree. Two best friends can always become Free. So I like that. Instead of 
two best friends. They had three best friends. They were all best friends. You can have more than one best friend. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. If you want to know more about the author or find links to the book, I will leave them below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye!